Karibu sana to Atlanta, Georgia. Hi. I'm back in Atlanta right now, and this is when I started to rethink about my life, about how Atlanta is not what it is on television or what you see on social media. This particular place had me on anxiety 1000 because of all the crime that was happening. And because there was one way in and one way out, I feel like you couldn't avoid the drama. So I got myself into unnecessary drama. Now, Gabriel is so little at this point, And I think when I look back at my motherhood journey, I should have enjoyed this particular time in my life a lot more. But everything is always in hindsight when you're so anxious about something and not living present in the moment. But let's get into my current place where I'm at now. And we are still in Georgia, but okay. somewhere else. So we are making cacio e de pepe. Cacio de pepe. Cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe. Ravioli. The um, and I learned about Cacio de Pepe um, because Chris Jenner was talking about it one time on an episode, and I was like, oh my god, like, what is that? Um, you guys, if you don't know, I love the Kardashians, and I often travel to the same places they travel to. Never made it to Bora Bora where Kim lost her earring, but um, such a spontaneous family. Love it. I used to watch it all the time with my mom, so it's very nostalgic. But um, just have a look. It's looking so yummy. Now, um, you don't need to use Trader Joe's sauce, but I'm trying to get through all of my food in the pantry. So I'm just using what I have and not trying to buy so much. Now, making pasta is like one of my favorite things. This is simple to do. You just want to use fresh Parmesan and add your onion, your garlic, and all of your seasonings that you need in order to get this to come out correctly. So... Let's just keep talking as you keep watching. So I just kind of felt like there was a huge difference between me being in Kenya and me being back in Atlanta. It's like even though I still had the same kind of help or lack of help, I just felt more enthusiastic doing things in Kenya and I got a lot done in a short amount of time. But the moment I came back to Buckhead, it was like I was stuck again. And I know environment doesn't change your life like that, but at the same exact time, I just, I don't know what it is about America that can make you feel so depressed, repressed, upset, all of those negative traits or whatever. And I guess at the same time, I like novelty and it's so important to me to feel like I'm in a good creative space, a good headspace. Listen, I don't know. But all I know is that America is very draining. So this made me start to really think like, you know, should this be an Airbnb? Because my original thought was to make the apartment in Kenya an Airbnb but I started to just realize like Charity you are really struggling like the struggle of being a single mom Gabriel. the pressure like any idea Gabriel. that I wanted to do whether it was making my Hi. cosmetic things my candles Hi. anything I just could not get anything done and then Hi, like Gabriel. that financial pressure that financial anxiety all of it, all of it. So that's why I really didn't get a chance to enjoy being a mom at this particular time in my life. And I wish I would have had a chance to slow down and really enjoy how little and cute and desirable and, and, and you know, he the Gabriel is. And now I feel like he's an entire toddler almost getting ready to go to school. You know, he's growing faster than the average kid and they grow faster in Africa somehow. So I just kind of kiss <laughs> Whenever I'm talking, Gabriel refuses for me to talk. Yeah. <laughs> He'll give me kisses or talk over me. Say something if you want to talk, boy. Yeah, every time he sees his dog on video, he's like, oh my God, where's my dog at? So I'm trying to coordinate um, all of that and getting her back and stuff like that. Okay, kiss. But you guys, subscribe to my channel. Bye. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Did you like this cooking? If you like this cooking, I can do more cooking videos. I do love to cook. But yeah, this is mom life. Do the best that you can and survive. Pray and trust God. Gabra! Gabra! What are you doing? 
This boy hates when I use his mini pot on his nose, but he loves to play with it. Anyways, gotta go.